In this daily drop, we're going to be taking a look at the results of using Westcott's 24 inch deep umbrella. We'll also check out their umbrella diffusion. So let's go. Okay, last episode for the week. Can't believe we're already two weeks into the daily drop. And this is sort of a part two to yesterday's episode where I really want to show you the end result or result of using this 24 inch deep umbrella from Westcott as a key source in a setup like this. We've got a medium shot. I've got a background here that's about six feet away. The actual fixture itself and the modifier is about two arms lengths away from me. I'm on the FX30 right now. And just so you know, for camera settings, I have it set to an F2.8, 18 millimeter focal length, and it is at an 800 ISO. The fixture itself, and we'll take a look at the setup, is at about 14 or 15 percent right now at 5600 Kelvin and I've got the little reflector attached to the Molus X100 which has the little dome and that's breaking the light a little bit and then spreading it around the umbrella helping with the light distribution and that's the basic setup here that we have. And you can see the result. And what we want to do is we want to take a look at the catch light in the eye, see what that looks like. Now, they make this with a white interior. They also make it with a silver interior. And that silver interior is going to be a little punchier, a little cooler in terms of the light output. And you'll see more specular highlights. For me, I like to keep it neutral for setups like this. And the 24 inch size is not actually uncommon for portraits and for setups like this. In fact, still photographers use beauty dishes all of the time and 24 inches is a very, very common size for that, both for umbrellas and soft boxes. So this is what it looks like with this particular setup. And now what I'm gonna do is attach the optional umbrella diffusion which is a one-stop diffuser. I've done some initial tests. I don't have to output double the amount of light in order for that to work, but let's dip to black, come back up, and we'll take a look at what it looks like with that on. Okay, so here we are looking at the result of the deep umbrella with the umbrella diffusion attached to it. Now, normally in a setup like this, we would be using something like an off-camera flash or a strobe. So we might have a modeling light on, but it'll be very, very low output, wouldn't be producing a lot of heat. And then there are bursts of high output light that are coming out of that off-camera flash or strobe. And you can see here that there's an opening for that for the umbrella diffusion. And that's fine, but in this case, we're using an LED, chip on board LED, and not everybody knows this, but those types of light sources produce a lot of heat. Now there's a built-in fan in the Molus X100 and it works very, very well. But I'm going to disclaim here that you do this at your own risk. You're responsible for this. I'm feeling pretty comfortable based on the way that I have this set up, the way it's draped. I have a lot of airflow down at the bottom. I'm leaving that opening that I would normally put a strobe into or an off-camera flash so that there's airflow there as well. I'm making sure that this is not touching the fixture in any way, shape, or form. So I'm comfortable using this, but the jury is still out on whether or not I'm gaining a big benefit here. Now, yes, I'm getting now a bounced and diffused light, kind of like a mini book light, but is it giving me a lot more by using this umbrella diffusion. Well, let's take a look at the catch light in the eye and we can do some wipes here between the original setup with just the umbrella and with this setup with the umbrella and the umbrella diffusion. And just the light quality overall, does it really make a difference in a setup like this? It may not, but I just want you to see that. And again, we've gone up about 5% in output on the fixture to get an exposure that's similar. It's not scientific for this particular test. I'm not going in and checking scopes and doing all of that kind of stuff. So I'm eyeballing it a little bit. That's it. Just want to check this stuff out so we can make informed decisions in terms of what we're using, what you're using in production. Hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape or form. The goal is always education. 
and don't forget to and to and I'll see you next week on the Daily Drop.